right, hey guys. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit of Gun Monkeys today, which is actually a game that we played last week uh, in the episode of Lee Dorn of How the World Works. Uh, I've actually watched the tutorial this time, so I know somewhat how to play the game a little bit better. Die, monkey! I still want, yes. It's still important to kill like, the monkeys, but more important is get these little blue boxes and bring them back to your little, little base thing. Um, yes, get out of here. Because that, see my numbers go up? Although I'm dying. But no, did I not die? I didn't die. Oh no, I'm, go, oh, get out of here. Oh gosh, he's got a sniper right there for me. Anyway, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the Obamacare rulings. And I already won! Oh, I'm the king of the world. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks, guys. Tune in. Uh, yeah, Obamacare, not good. Uh, court said bad, one said good. I, that's the whole episode. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that is, it does kind of sum up what happened today to some degree. What, the D.C. District Court said, hey, Obamacare, uh, you can't give subsidies to people on the federal exchange. And, and then the 4th District Court a little, a couple hours later, they were like, yeah, sure you can. You know, why, why not? Sure. But, um, essentially the issue, and hopefully I can get another, let's, let's do the multi-busy. And we'll get more people. Let's challenge everyone. Bring it on, all of you. Yes. This is a malwell. I will kill you and your space monkey. But basically, um, the issue is that Obamacare, in the actual law, says that you can only get um, an ex uh, a subsidy for your health insurance plan um, if you're in... Oh, we're underwater. If you're underwater with a monkey in the future collecting perpetual energy to save the world, which is basically the storyline of this game, by the way. Um, no, no, get, get out of here, stupid underwater saw blades. What the heck? I need underwater space energy. Yeah, where is it? Yep. But basically, it's a, the law says you can only have uh, Obamacare subsidy for your health insurance plan if you're on an exchange created by a state. And since... What the new thing is? Come here. And since most states... I think something like 36 states, um, dang, they both died. Uh, something like 36 states didn't actually create an exchange. Uh, that means all the people that went on the federal exchange, uh, because of that, don't actually, dang, what? S sabotaged? Sabotaged. Dang. Um, all the people that went on the federal exchange, they don't get subsidies because that's you know you can only get a subsidy if it, this exchange you're buying health insurance through was created by a state and since you know that's basically what the law says pretty much word for word uh and the dc district court they basically said that hey that's what the law says so you you can't you can't do that because um a couple of years after the law was passed the irs <coughs> um changed their interpretation of the law so that people on the federal exchange could get the uh, subsidy too. Let's rematch this dude. Let's bring it on. And so that that was the issue. And DC Circuit Court said no no subsidies for people on the federal exchange because that's what the law says. And the fourth district court said uh, no people can still have the subsidy because the law is not it's not clear enough. Uh, basically, the law doesn't say you know. A, what it directly says. Um, so <laughs> that's more or less how I read it. You should read the opinions yourself, of course. Don't let anyone else uh, decide for you. But that's that's my view of it. Um, DC, you know, the, the the law directly states that you only get a subsidy. If, I'm die on this one. Oh, that must it. Um, you only get a subsidy if you on it exchange that was created by the state. And they did this for a specific reason. Um, ooh, big nuke. What's this do? Where is... Uh, that was real bad. I did that in a very bad way. 
I shouldn't have fired it at nothing, first of all. That was a poor decision. Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they do this. This is how the federal government gets states to do do things, basically, is to say, hey, do this, um, and we'll give you... Dang it. Stop blowing me up, evil-looking demon monkey underwater. I'm going to lose. No, let me out. I, I can still do it. Six, five, four... Uh, I'm gonna go down in blaze of glory. Nope. Not even close. But, yeah. Basically, what'll happen is the federal government wants state governments to do something. And so they'll say, hey, do this, and we'll give you lots of federal tax dollars. Or don't do this, and you don't get any money. Uh, and so almost always, uh, you know, at least in the past, the states go along with that. Because, hey, we get federal tax dollars. It'll be great. Let's rematch this guy again. Yep, he, he knows that I'm terrible, so he said no. Alright, let's try anyone else. Bring it on. Anybody. Literally anyone. Come along. And so, that's what they tried to do with Obamacare. They said, hey, we don't want to build the exchange. We don't want to run the exchange. That costs money. Uh, so, hey, states, you do it. And if you if you do it, we'll give you you know, big subsidies for people living in your state. And then those people will be happy because they got free money, more or less. Right around that way. And, and then you'll get reelected and everything will be great. And that's all pretty much how it's always worked. Oh, I'm fighting that guy, the same guy again. He's going to beat the crap out of me. Cool. That's okay. That's okay. But, um, I have a 25% win percentage. That's great. Great. Good this game. This game's pretty cool though, you should you should check it out. It's called Gun Monkeys. It's like five dollars on Steam. It's only totally worth five bucks, I would say. But um actually if you get two copies for five bucks. No! Man, he keeps falling I keep I keep falling into his his bomb traps that he sets for me. Because I'm stupid. I'm a stupid guy. Come on, let me out of here. But, um, yeah, so basically the government, for Obamacare, they were like, we don't want to run the exchange, we don't want to pay for all that, we don't want to, you know, spend the time setting up an exchange for everyone in the country, so we'll have your states do it, and, hey, we'll give you money, we'll give you tax money from the federal government, and that's basically how they do pretty much everything, um, when, when the federal government wants to get the states to do something, so... It was the same way with this time, this time around, except the problem was that Obamacare became extremely unpopular along the way, and you know, so a lot of states were like, uh, yeah, we don't want to, yes, I killed you, killed you, really good guy, he's probably going to end up winning anyway, but I still killed you. Um, yeah, but basically the, the, the difference this time around is that Obamacare became so unpopular that the states just said, screw this, we're not going to get involved at all. And um, that's why we're at where we're at. Because a lot of, you know, a lot of people who wrote the law to begin with, they didn't see that coming, basically. They thought, you know, th they thought it would be the same as it always was. And the states, every state would just create an exchange, because if they create an exchange, they get, they get the federal money in, in, in return, and that's how it's always been. So, I think the idea that, uh, that, oh, they didn't really intend to create that kind of structure, that oh, was just nonsense. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just shoot the other one. That's not so No! Dang it. But yeah, so, this is actually far more important than, uh, like, the Hobby Lobby case, which gets a lot more immediate coverage because yes I won I beat him I finally beat him but the Hobby Lobby case gets a lot more media coverage because it's sort of a flashier issue it's about religious freedom versus uh, you know abortifacient slash birth, birth control so but in reality let's rematch let's see if he wants to play one more time determine the true gun monkey champion but uh, in reality the Hobby Lobby case it doesn't have an actual practical effect on um, 
on, on anyone because the, the women who still want to get their birth control paid for or their border patients or you know, whichever side of the argument you fall on that, they still are going to have someone else paying for it because they'll just be put into a government program where the insurance companies are forced to pay to make up the premium difference uh, instead of Hobby Lobby or, or whoever else uh, that falls in the Hobby Lobby uh, yeah, realm. Whereas with this case, it could have a huge impact because it's going to be about whether or not, you know, a huge chunk of... Oh, that guy killed himself somehow. Good job, guy. Blue, 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 good blueness. Blue, goodness. Run, run, run. Yeah. You're going to die. You're going to shoot you with my monkey gun. Damn it. He blew me up again. This guy loves blowing me up with the mines. But yeah, in the Hobby Lobby case, it's going to have a huge impact if um, things continue, if it, if it actually gets upheld at uh, the Supreme Court level. Oh man, just jump into that smoke kills you. That's not good. I can still do it. If I just, if I just go out here. Yeah, because that, that actually means that many, many, oh god. Many, many people could end up be the champion. Die, 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 die. Yes. Yes. But yeah, if if, if those federal uh, subsidies are taken away from the federal exchange, a lot of people are going to experience a much higher premium than they thought they would. And that's going to be a huge problem um, probably, you know, for everyone in politics, not just the left. It'll be a problem for everyone because they're going to have a lot of people are going to be angry and they have to figure out how to fix the problem um, that Obamacare created in the first place. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, but right now, it's, you just basically are waiting for the next court case as uh, until you get to the Supreme Court, as is always the case. So. Um, but this is this is monumental stuff. It's much bigger than other other cases like Hobby Lobby that got a lot more media attention. This could really actually undo Obamacare for good. Um, the system probably wouldn't survive uh, <clears throat> if the courts determined that you know those those subsidies can't be given to the people on the federal exchange. If basically if the courts decide that the law has to be a applied the way it's actually written, uh, then Obamacare's in huge, huge trouble. So, we'll see. We will see. Alright, I'll, I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.